Welcome back, this is Jack. How's it going? Hey, I'm actually able to wear my contacts without it actually bothering me. I don't know why. Actually, I know why. When I went to put in the contacts, I noticed like a straight up, just like a huge ass uh, eyelash in it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's why it was bothering me last time. Because um, I'm stubborn and I'm going to try and wear my contacts because I freaking paid for them. That's my mentality. Um. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I took a long break. I had like one stream in the last two weeks and that was just me taking a break. Um, and I'm not back yet, as in I'm not following my usual schedule, as in what games I'm playing, because today I should be playing uh, Batman, but I'm not. Um, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things, I'm just getting my head back in the game of streaming. So, that got me playing whatever I want to play, which is a game, uh, we're playing Gunfire Reborn, which is a game my buddy Coolwalker has been wanting me to play, which, for good reason, I've already played it a little bit, it's pretty fun. Um... It's a good roguelite, and it's multiplayer, up to four players, so I imagine I can have a lot of fun playing the game with, you know, my friends. Um, so maybe I'll, one day I'll get them to play, too. No idea. Um, let's see here. I have words, and when I put them together, they make a sentence. There's a few games coming out that I'll be playing. Uh, tomorrow I might stream. There's like a 50-50 shot, uh, because Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League comes out. And I had pre-ordered it a while back, so I'm in the pre I'm in the early access. So I'll pr I might stream that. I might, or I might just play it on my own. I don't know. Um, I do have the RoboCop game. It was on sale, so I picked it up, and it's a game I already been looking for. It's not bad. It's not a bad game. It just doesn't hold me. Also, I don't like being a narc for too long. It kind of bothers me. Um. And I also did pick up the first Dead Rising game because it was on sale for like six bucks. Hey, Trickster. Um, tomorrow there's a chance you might see me play uh, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. So I hope that'll make it up for me not doing Batman today. So we are doing this. This is a game called Gunfire Reborn. And I have played it a wee bit. Oh, hang on. I picked up the DLC, so it's just going through letting me know about me having the DLCs. Alright, this is the character I unlocked and I want to play. Um, an adorable... An adorable chibi... Um, an adorable chibi bunny girl. Uh, I do have the DLC characters unlocked, which I might give them a try. Uh, most likely this character, because that's the other one I was vaguely interested in, because it's, it's Sun Wukong. Go ahead, what's the question? I'm assuming it's a D&D &D question. Anyway. We're doing, um... Using the bunny girl. Ain't nobody gonna have... Ain't nobody got time to hate on a cute little bunny girl. You know, this is a rogue light, so dying is a thing. Um, I don't know if I did run a stream D and D game. I don't know who would be in it. So, uh, but the answer to that would be yes. That's a new gun to me. I've never seen that one. That's actually all of them are. I'll go with this one. Um, because my original intent was it for it to be only content creators only. Um, because it's going, it would be a stream game. But what I do is unknown at this current time. So we'll see. Ooh. 
Cool, I need two weapons then, both elemental preferably. RE4 is stressful at all. Like, you don't have to say on the Switch. Um, I like doing it in VR because um, you can dual wield. Um, and by that I mean, in one hand I keep, um, in one hand I tend to keep the knife, in the other hand I keep the pistol. Shoot out the legs. Did I just pick up a brick as a weapon? I just picked up a brick as a weapon. I think we need to talk about this. Okay, the brick's pretty powerful. I think we need to talk about that. Like, the brick was insanely powerful. I was just one-shotting it. Mind you, it was a brick to the face, so... No, like, because I would, I went through a majority of like RE4 and VR, um, like almost not using any ammo, just doing that combo. Basically, it's a returning, uh, returning effect of more and more crits. Got it. Cool. I'm just gonna save my money. I would use the brick more, but this character is built around me shooting a lot. It charges up my sword ability. Unfortunately, they both use the same ammo type, so... Yeah, the only reason I'm not keeping the, uh, the other one I just picked up, or switched back out of, was because I'm um, using the same ammo type as the gun I'm using, so. Got, st uh, got stuck on a wall. Thankfully I survived it. There we go. If you ever get a chance, uh, play, play it on, um, 
play Resident Evil 4 um, on the Oculus when you get a chance. It's it's really it's really good. That's one of my favorites right there. Um, no, they did a really good job with uh, RE4 on um, on the Oculus. Um, why I let myself have that much trouble. That should have been an easy one. Second to last room on this level. for me. Nothing I particularly care about. You go into the vault. Now, are you playing with the Switch directly, like it's the Switch is in your hand, or are you playing with um, the Switch to a TV? actually tougher than it needed to be.
dead octopus. Absorb energy from enemies with a cone-shaped area in front. Interesting. Portal open, treasure chest found. I got these gashes on the side of my leg right now because of Zane. First, let's see if he's got any weapon I want to buy because there are a handful I'd want. You know what, I'm going to switch out this one as much as I like it. Hang on. Oh, it uses the same ammo. Okay, so never mind. Oh. This is different. This is different. This is different. This is not the boss I normally fight here. What the hell? Zane's sitting on my desk right now and it's annoying me. Found his weak spot. Oh, that almost got me. It's gonna get me, it's gonna get me. Yeah, it got me, I got stuck on a wall. That's embarrassing. That's also the first time I've ever fought that guy. Alright, I have some points to upgrade. Zane, I don't know what you're doing back there. You're adorable, but you got me concerned. There, my guns will now do a little bit more damage. Let's up my skill up. There we go. Alright, let's do this again. That's right, we're doing it again. Let's go! Screw it! We're doing it live! We're doing it live! Y'all thought I was going to take anything but the Gatling gun. You are sorely mistaken.
I got a new subscriber. Woo! Didn't see the alert go off yet. They must have their um, subscribers not listed as public. But woo, I'm happy. That makes me happy. Oh, that already makes today a good stream. <sighs> I know I'm not being the beacon of conversation right now. Oh, I'm trying to kill the merchant. you got no oh, i don't have i want that i want that i want it I'm a little short on money i can come back i think actually i don't know if i want it it's a grenade launcher but it, the only reason i want it is because it's a lizard go get the treasure Cliffy does daily Dallas. Oh, cool. Well, hi, Cliffy. Oh, okay. Seafood's a good game. Like, I've beaten it, thankfully. Got the secret ending, too. Never doing that again. Don't even know if I could. I think it was sheer freaking fluke that I did it the first time. There, now I'm going to go get the lizard. I don't even know if it's any good, I just want it. This is actually a pretty good one. Man, I really want that, though. You know what? No, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna do the smart thing and get the throwing, throwing knives. Okay, so that's how that works. Dragon's Breath? Interesting. Did it too soon. Nice, I like it. It's good for screw that guy specifically. Let me go uh, deal with this. That's an idea.
gun his ass. There's that brick. There's the woodpecker. Don't care for it. Should be a chest in here, too. There. Right next to where I was standing. Put it. I was watching some scenes from um, Legend of Korra. And um, there was a scene where um, a character from the original series shows up. I'm not going to say. Well, I, I got to say who it is then. I'll spend the money. Dormant Bullet. Um. Just the line from it was them being introduced um, after having been missing, presumed dead for a long time. It is freaking hilarious. Fortunately, I don't have enough to upgrade. I can upgrade the big hippo, which is the Gatling gun I'm using. Was not having it. I hate those guys. Their arrows are like annoyingly homing. Which one is it? Is it the giant beetle? Damn, it's him.
Got his ass. Star ring. I'm going to give it a try, but I'm keeping my Gatling gun. Okay, I see what it's meant for. I don't like it, but I see what it's meant for. And there's just so much health recovery stuff I'm finding. I'll have to see if there's... Um, I might... I'm going to switch off that when I find something better. Just because it's... Um, using the same ammo as what I'm currently using. Which, thankfully, he's got something to sell, usually. Got uh, the flaming throwing knives, which would be nice. Rainbow. I actually haven't tried this one. Let's go ahead and use it. Keeping the up oh, same ammo. God damn it! Because that can pose an issue. Oh well, too late. I already did it. Things behind me on my treadmill. Not oh, golem again. Right, the laser thing is weird, but it works. Got his ass! <sighs> Got it for me. Yeah, I don't like that rainbow weapon.
Yeah, in case y'all, as I said before, this character, this character's specialty is built around me shooting a lot because I build up charges on my uh, sword throwing ability. Uh, that's the whole reason you do it. That's why you see me using these um, machine guns. Um, like, yeah, it's nice having the uh, fuck everybody to whom it may concern kind of moments. Damn, my survivability ones are I'm just getting all the survivability ones. None of the derb none of the I'm doing more damage ones. Not complaining about. That's pretty nice actually. find out what those are in a second. several things I have to do in this area. First, I gotta find out what the fuck this is. It's just throwing knives? Controllable spikes. I get the feeling this is a homing weapon, so I'm gonna hang on to that. enjoying it so far uh, I went ahead and picked up the DLCs because I figured um, I, you'd be one of the people I'd be playing the game with oh yeah let me test this okay these are cool a little broken but potentially broken Yeah, these are potentially broken. Oh, I've only really played long enough to unlock um, the bunny.
got his ass. All right, what are you? Tiger cannon. I remember what that does. Hang on. Yeah, it's just a grenade launcher. You are the woodpecker. I'm, I'm going to keep the illusion for now. Mostly because this is probably going to be my go-to weapon for most fights. I only switched because that was a boss fight. So I really haven't unlocked anybody. I unlocked this one because it's like, oh, you just need a stupid amount of the spirit energy. I'm like, all right, cool. I guess I'm saving up spirit energy. I'm not done with the Batman series. Uh, I'm just taking a break from it today because this is me getting back into the rhythm of streaming. Um, because I hadn't streamed in a, in a good little bit. Uh, like, honestly streamed. I did the, hey, I'm not dead stream the other day. Um, and honestly, the only reason I'm streaming today is because, like, I'm re I, I need to get back into the rhythm of it. And tomorrow... Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League comes out, and I will be streaming that, probably, most likely. I just have to look at them. I don't even have to hold a button, I just have to look at somebody. Yeah, this weapon is broken. It's probably useless against bosses. Make sure I get rid of that rogue arsonist. That could have gotten me. Yeah, this is great. This is going to be great for, like, just the general room clearer. Especially because it still targets people through shields.
of last year. I'd actually have to remember all the games that came out uh, last year. So I'd have to actually look up every game that came out last year to make that decision. So it'd be very difficult for me to answer it. Uh, there are some that I want to play and I reserve the right to say could be the answer. Like, I do want to play God of War Ragnarok. I haven't touched that. Alright, is this boss fight? No, second and last before boss fight. Craftsman, you're gonna upgrade my uh, cloud weavers. Not even a question. Okay, so you can use those to open vaults. Okay. Um. Turn into boars. Okay. sniper up here. There we go. Um, Because I still think Elden Ring came out last year, and I know it didn't. God damn. I hope that's retroactive. If I can find just a little bit more gold, I can upgrade these things a little bit more. Can't go back? No. Probably can once I kill everybody in this area. You know what? Screw it. Instead of upgrading, I'll... Careful, high rarity scrolls. Why? Why should I be worried about that? Okay. 
but you cannot kill me, for I am... For I am God. Oh, there's a scroll right here. What's this way? Yeah, it looks like I got a negative 2% damage re reduction because of one of the scrolls. Hang on. Yeah, one of my scrolls is giving me... Hang on. Uh, immunity to all cursed scrolls. Uh, this one right here. Gain 1% damage up and... Re okay, I don't see a negative on that one. Alright, whatever. I stopped caring. The big hippo. Actually, what I was using for a good minute. After this run, I might try out the other character that had my attention that I unlocked. I got it from the DLC, so I haven't even tried them yet. Once again, this gun is just this weapon is just so free. Oh, okay, yeah, I've been watching the watching for those. I've seen a couple. And that's one of the ones I've been wa waiting for. That just straight up gave me a, a a good damage increase. What do you got? Can't upgrade the Cloud Weaver, unfortunately. Close, but I can't do it. The Dragon Breath is a good weapon. It's, like, remarkably a good screw-everybody-in-this-direction weapon. Oh, I want that. Uh, you think I'm dropping the Cloud Weaver? You are done. I'm not using the same ammo type. That's all I care about. Anyway, is this going to be the, uh, uh... The Tremor? The Graboid? Yep, Graboid. Unfortunately, there's no real iframes when you're dodging, apparently. I'm just on fire. Oh, yeah. I still haven't figured out how I'm supposed to dodge that. Like, I haven't figured out how to dodge that attack. I've tried jumping it. I've tried... Oh, yeah, I better revive. Got his ass. I use my ult to do it. Freaking cheated. Reloading deals current weapon damage to enemies for every... Oh, okay, cool. Like, I have no idea how I was supposed to dodge when it does, like, the continuous wave of bullshit. Because you can't dodge it. I've tried jumping it, doesn't work. I've tried dashing through it, it's multiple waves. It doesn't come back fast enough. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? 
And it does the whole room, so it's not like, oh, just get as far from it as you can. I am playing by myself, and I'm still technically early level, so yeah. That would check out. Can't even um uh, curious if that's any better this does slightly more damage naturally than what i'm currently using i can't afford it but i'm looking <sighs> nope oh that would be nice but i don't have the money for it either Another, um, another roguelite I wouldn't mind playing on stream at some point, um, of course will be Hades 2 when it comes out, but that's not what I was going to say, is, um, is, uh, Rogue's Legacy 2. I've played Rogue Legacy 1, I've got it. Um, and it's not bad, but, uh, from what I'm told that there is a drastic difference between Rogue Legacy 1 and 2. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. That's a, probably a good uh, fuck that guy specifically weapon. Got for me. I'd like to be able to get to the boss fight of this one. Because this, um, this is about as far as I've gotten. I've gotten to the second to last uh, arena of this place. I've never gotten to the boss fight. I think the next time I uh, run a D&D &D game, I'm probably going to, uh, which I don't know when that's going to be, like actually run a D&D &D game, I'm probably going to like get rid of all the races and just make my own. Because there's like, oh, like I'm tired of all the same old, same old races. And then it also, because it, it ties with it a lot of stigma and stereotype with it. When you hear elf, you think of a specific type of elf. When you see a uh, dwarf, you think of a specific type of dwarf. And it's usually Lord of the Rings oriented. So I think I'm going to... Um, Take them all out. Can't be any of them. They don't exist. Uh, except for human, of course, but 
it's gonna be frowned upon for the player to play human. Like, I'm gonna frown upon any player who's like, I gotta play a human. Because I'm sitting here looking at this and I'm like, it would be interesting to have like a fish race, like straight up just a fish race. Like, um, like you'd have to make a lore reason why they're able to go to the surface. They're not merfolk. They are straight up um, humanoid fish. Uh, more closer to that of like, um, uh, your furkity furk. I got one shot it. All right, as far as I'm getting, unfortunately, with that. We're gonna try one of the other characters here in a second. I'm gonna try the monkey guy. All right, time for an upgrade. Don't want that. I know that would upgrade me to the next tier. But these upgrades actually carry over between characters, which is why I'm going for it. Yeah, that was a hell of an upgrade. Season grade level two. I forgot that there's a season grade thing. All right, we're gonna switch hero. This is the other character that caught my attention that I was interested in. Because it's basically Sun Wukong, um, the Monkey King. I don't know anything about this character. I'm like reading this, I kind of get a gist. Blow out a hair and blow it to the enemy. When it lands on the enemy, summon a clone that performs a cudgel and hit up to four times to the enemy within 10 meters. If a cudgel deals weapon damage instead of skill damage based on the held weapon. Soul Strike has an additional effect based on the weapon type. Each enemy can be struck by cudgel one um, um, by cudgel once in a single Soul Strike. Yeah, I know. That's unique. That's why I was choosing all the center ones. Draw Soul Essence from your bracelet. Deal 500 uh, damage to up to 4 enemies. Reduce their movement speed by 90% for 25 and extracting their soul to enhance your own weapons. Plus 2, yeah. So this is who I'm going to be. I'm going to be the I'm going to be the Monkey King. Yeah, I did that. That was actually one of the ones I dumped all of my points in. No, I have yet to try this weapon. I'm prepared to hate it. This is an interesting weapon. It's building up a charge for something. I haven't used the alternate charge yet because I want to see it at max power. I'll have to read what that actually does. I don't think I've gotten any of the parkour ones. All I've got is the dodge the rock ones. Which those are easy. All right, I've got a max charge, so when I find somebody worth shooting with it, I'll uh, I'll do so. All right, let's uh, let's see what the other scroll I picked up was. Oh, cool! Unfortunately, I don't have any lightning abilities. Oh, bracelets are maxed. Oh, that's my special ability. Okay.
Alright, what we got? the aura protection oh it does oh, okay i'm guessing it's where the fire is because i've always seen it i just never bothered looking which this looks like it's going to be a parkour one Let's go take a look, shall we? I don't care if I win or lose on this. Oh, damn, didn't know this was here. the right way. Oh, okay. So it just builds up into a jet, uh, basic stream. Okay. So the basic attack's good enough for now. There's so many broken weapons. Well, like, because, like, the floating uh, knives one I was using earlier, that one was insanely powerful just because I didn't have to fucking aim for shit. This one has the same thing. Like, it doesn't care. Oh, you have a shield? I'm just going to pull the liquid out of your body. And me doing the water attack isn't even consuming my ammo. Its most powerful attack does not consume ammo. Mostly because you build up the ammo over time, so I guess that makes sense. I still have yet to actually even use my special ability. I want to use it as soon as I can. That's nice, but I don't fight long range. That middle one would have been nice, but that would require me to be in constant fighting. Oh yeah, I was going to use my special. Alright, that wasn't what I... I meant to do... Not that, that one, I meant to push the other button.
Interesting. That definitely would benefit if I was using a, um, a fuck-off weapon. If, like, I had a really powerful sniper rifle or a, uh, a rocket launcher. Because it does damage based on the weapon I'm wielding. So I really do need to... I'll probably switch off this weapon when I find, like, a rocket launcher or something, just so I can use my special. Oh, there's a sniper I can use, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna switch off that just because reasons. There we go. That's much better. Because I can casually use this for taking out hordes. Plus, I went the whole last time, almost the whole last time, using nothing but a... Um... Go into the little portal. Yeah, the dual wielding dog one is pretty. Um, looks pretty good. Like, I I do get I do get why somebody would want to use that one. Yeah, the cudgel is not as good as I was hoping it would be, but it might be just because I have a shit weapon for it. Not getting a clear shot on him. There we go. Zane's on my desk right now and it's actually rather annoying. Using this because it sets him on fire. Interesting. I like it.
Come on, show me your face. Fine. I'll have my clone deal with you. Can't remember what all my um, quote unquote grenade does. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about Resident Evil Three Nemesis here. Also, hi Cliffy. Um, Trickster tells me you uh, subscribed. I appreciate it. Heard you're playing uh, Sifu. Good game. Not an easy game by any stretch of the imagination, but a good game. What you got for me? Ooh, you got me those again. Ooh, that's hard for me to say no to. Alright, it's gonna be the golem or the monkey. Golem. chance to try out that bow yeah i know i when i was able to play far away that's what i did the icy spear i want that guess what i'm losing this okay that's cool i like it i do still want to use the bow but i keep finding things that i want to use over the bow like this icy spear I don't see a reason to use the spear. It just doesn't seem to have the oomph that you would think it would have. Definitely gonna be using the uh, Dragon Slayer. Alt fire. Oh, well, 
I'm gonna be using the Dragon Slayer. Cause this one I know. Uh, okay. I'll remember that the next time I, I find it. What is this gonna do? 3k damage! Yep, that was a good choice. That was a very good choice. Solid B tier? Okay. Go into the vault. Oh, one of the other, um, one of the other stream roguelites I'll probably be playing. And by the way, my roguelites will mostly be when I'm on Twitch. This is just because I wanted to. Um, will be uh, Cult of the Lamb because I do own that and I've never beaten it. Damn, I did that way too soon. Zane, why do you choose while I'm in the middle of fighting an elite for you to do that shit? I got these gashes up the side of my leg right now because of him. The glimmering. Nah, not switching out. as much of the money as I can. Procedurally generated games? One of my favorite games of all time is, um, is Warframe. You tell me. I feel that Warframe is hands down probably the best free-to-play game ever created. And it's not even just because of like the mechanics of the game, it's literally how they run their business, I feel, is makes it one of the best. Now, actually that does raise a question I do want to bring up. And this is going to be, this is not going to be a hot topic one. I don't imagine a lot of people are going to like fight me on any of this, but what is the difference between procedurally generated and an AI game? What's the difference? What's the difference between the trillions upon trillions of wor universe worlds that are um, of uh, No Man's Sky versus a game where everything is created by AI. What is the difference? Now, some people might feel this is an unfair question because you're like, well, a procedurally generated world or like Borderlands with the procedurally generated weapons, um, it has to follow certain rules. That's, that's AI. Now, this is not me advocating for AI games in the slightest. I don't, I don't like the idea of AI games. God damn it, they're going to kill me. Couldn't get into cover for some reason. And I lost a lot of my buffs. There we go. Well, even if the game is made by AI, like 100% made by AI, 
a human is going to have some step into it. Like, they still have to debug and make sure that the AI is making a logical... Uh, a logical build, a, a fair build. Like, mind you, there are some games that pride themselves on being unfair. A good example is... Uh, I forget the name of the game right now, but it's a really good... I'll have to pull it up. I can't remember what it is right now, but it's a really good game. I just haven't played it in a little bit. He's all shield, thankfully. Those assholes spawn just to die. Or a venom. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. But yeah, um... Yeah, like, the use of AI to some degree, it's it's been around, like, since the dawn of video games. By definition, the game is full of AI. Like, how the enemies respond is all, um, unless it's 100% pre-programmed, like, hey, they go to the left, you go to the right. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so, whether or not AI in video games, that's, that's going to be around forever. What I'm talking about specifically is levels... Uh, levels and dialogue being... Well, not dialogue. We'll say just levels for now. Being created by AI, which means it's procedurally generated. Something that we've just come to accept, um, which I'm okay with. Like, I'm honestly okay with. Because there's a lot of games that, because they're procedurally generated, um, the game is mo 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 better. Now, is there use of AI dialogue? Potentially. I do see... Like, somebody took Chat ChatGPT and, like, did it as a plug-in into Skyrim. So that he, he was able to rewrite a lot of the dialogue with NPCs and stuff like that. That made it interesting. That's an interesting concept. Now, of course, the problem with doing that is... That is taking the job of somebody else who could have been writing all that dialogue and voicing all the dialogue, because all the voice work was um, was AI generated. Yeah. Now there is a part of me that does see a very strong benefit to AI generation in a very specific way. And it would require very strict contracts in place for it to work. I'm actually going to pause to cover this one. Because this, this is actually a thought I've been having and I kind of want to... I kind of want to do a uh, video on it. Paused. All right, let's talk about this. Hang on. All right. So here's a thought. Here's a very specific thought, all right? For those who don't know, who's played Baldur's Gate 3, there is a voice actor in there who is in there for a very short time, but he's a great voice actor that a lot of people really do like. Um, uh, J. Jonah Jameson, Cave Johnson, the actual voice actor's name escapes me at this exact second, but he is in there for a very short time. He plays very few roles, and arguably it could be because it was expensive to have him voice too much. Now, mind you, depending on your choices, you see a lot more or a lot less of him, yada, 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 yada. So, the question I raise is... Yeah. If a game, if a game uses a certain amount of AI in it, then the, uh, the, uh, then the 
money uh, that the game developer should be taxed more. That, that that the revenue should be taxed more. That does make sense. That's a good idea. But now imagine they made a deal with that voice actor. I'm, I'm trying not to say his name because mind you, I can't remember it. Um, imagine if they had made a deal with him. He says these certain amount of lines, these certain amount of words, and um, they're able to use it to voice this character. Um, they're able to voice this character. And every time they create new scenes with him, he gets a certain amount of money. Or any DLC that has the character in it, he gets a kickback from it. He gets a percentage based on how much the character appears. Um, or something along those lines. Something in the contract written that way. No, I agree. No, I am agreeing. But I'm talking in a very specific way. The only way I can imagine it work, because it's going to happen. The only way I can imagine it working is if these contracts are in place where you can't just like, I can't just go out and sell my voice saying all these words. And then from then on, because I did it once, I sold it once. Anybody can use that voice. Yeah. What I'm talking about is say I'm working with, um, uh, let's say I'm working with Warframe because I love Warframe. Digital Extremes or whatever the fuck the name of the company is. Let's say I'm working with them. And I go to them and they want me to voice a character. Instead of me just doing one performance, they can have me read a series of lines. Now the contract says anytime this character is added into a DLC or every time they appear in the story, I get paid. And it could be based, um, and it's on that rate from when I did it. It can only be used in this game. It can only be used for this character. That I feel would be more acceptable. Um, and I um, and the percentage I get after the first performance could be less because I'm not physically required to make the trek, but I am still collecting royalties off my voice. That is a hypothetical I'm actually a little more okay with. Um, yep. Um, something similar happened with uh, Harrison Ford and uh, uh, Han Solo. There's a long story on that one. Um, actually, Disney's even worse, but they're artists. Um, if you're an artist for Disney, anything you draw is considered Disney's property. So if you draw lewd art, it is Disney's property. I'm not joking. There is apparently a vault set aside for all the lewd art that the artists have drawn for no freaking reason. Apparently, that's a true story. I find that freaking hilarious. Okay, my roommate should be home soonish. Um, I actually find that idea freaking hilarious. Um, cause one day that vault's going to come out and be like, Oh my God, that artist did that. Oh, so that's what I'm mm, 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 going to stop there before I say something that gets me in trouble. That's why they're all apple bottomed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Uh, royalties. You collect royalties based on your voice, based on your, like, just like you would get royalties based on your appearance. You would collect royalties if your voice is being used in that way. Um, now let's say just for numbers reasons, I was paid for my initial performance, $10,000. Okay. And every time that character is more content is created with that character. I have to be paid. Um, let's say a hundred dollars for every hour of gameplay that that character shows up. Yeah, that could work too. Or the care or the voice lines aren't allowed to be used anymore unless my estate says otherwise. Cause by then I'd probably be dead because you know, the end world's going to end. Anyway, I'm going to shoot some people in the face. Let's go back to shooting people. I think that's a valid conversation to be having, but I also don't think game developers are willing to uh, cede that kind of power. Steak. Steak and bake steak. And before you say anything, it was just an idea. I wanted to see how it turned out, and I think it turned out okay. I just over-seasoned it. Chicken? No, that's not chicken. That's steak. Sorry, talking to my roommate. Oh, I, I already had some.
And I don't have enough gold for it anyway, so... Spear came back. That's actually another fun conversation. Let's talk about that one. this conversation i really do this is a fun one all right back in the day which was a tuesday it's always a tuesday it's about the time the internet's coming out there was a an alaskan senator i want to say senator named bird and they were talking about trying to regulate the internet in some way because remember the internet was originally supposed to be a public use thing it wasn't supposed to be a, a public industry or a private industry it was supposed to be a public use thing and so they were talking about it, and Bird had to describe it as a series of tubes. That is how he described it. This, like, 90-year-old senator said, yeah, said series of tubes. And the only reason that happened is because I can guarantee you um, senators and congressmen were afraid that it was going to happen to them. You're right. We have a bunch of geriatric old people who are running our government, who don't understand technology. You have, you have senators complaining to the owner of Facebook that they're, no, wait, the owner of Google or the CEO of Google that their Facebook ads were weird or something like that, or that their Apple was misbehaving. I can't remember who to who, but that's basically what the conversation. And my favorite? I forget who it was. It was a, um, I, w <sighs> we have a bunch of geriatric old fucks running Congress and the government in whole. I don't care. And now you could argue now you can argue they have experience. No, they don't. The experience they have is from a world that doesn't freaking exist. Not anymore. And some of them are so old. They don't remember the world they came from. That's my stance on that. Um, and not to mention, I really don't want somebody in power who has no skin in the game, who aren't going to be alive in 10 years to see the future they fucking create. When you, uh, when you have people like Mitch McConnell still in office, Nancy Pelosi, who's thankfully sounds like she's retiring. Like I can go down the list of these people who are older than old. All right, that's that's my that's my gripe about that. They don't understand technology because they've never used it. Like the closest they get to technology is when they're getting their blood transfusion from their um, grandkids. Say again. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. They're rich enough to have clones instead of using their grandkids. You're right. You're right. You can have those last two pieces. That's why I saved them there for you to try. Okay. <laughs> for those who want to know, I had made myself um, shake and bake, but I used steak because I happen to have steak thawed. And um, I wanted to see how it turned out. It came out all right. I think I over seasoned it a little bit. I put too much salt in it. Uh, but it came out pretty good. Um, and I ate most of it, but I left a little bit for my uh, dad to try out. do you do? Oh, fuck that. I don't want that. Oh, 
Hang on, I'll read that in a second. Now, I'm okay with, uh, from what I was able to glean from that, I'm okay with procedurally generated worlds. I actually am. message retracted. I'm curious what that was. Going on AI, Bethesda says, I say Bethesda dedication to procedurally generated world is their biggest problem. <clears throat> yeah. That's probably what doesn't help them with uh, Starfield because they looked at what uh, No Man's Sky did and said, we can do that better. Now, the problem is, is that um, they didn't do it right. Like I could, I can see where it could have went really good. Now, they did it now in their defense. I do see an argument uh, that they tried to make with it. They said, um... That, that checks, but um, let's see if I can do any good on this one. I don't have acid. I know because he's armored. There we go, now I got him. Not too bad, David. How you doing?
Oh yeah, the brick. It's actually an insanely good weapon. Yeah, I've gotten really discouraged from playing Overwatch. Um, not because I finally made my goal of reaching Bronze 4, which I'm still proud of myself for. Um, it's... If I'm being honest, it's actually... It's partly I, just, I don't feel the desire to play a game like that. But two, it's also because of... Um, they've gone into partnership with Saudi Arabia for their Owl League. For, their, for the Owl or whatever you want to call it. First time I've ever fought that thing. I actually never used the wheel saw weapon. It alternates between fire and acid. I'm using it.
Don't know how I'm still alive, honestly. Wait. This is just basically a flaming sword. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. We're gonna use the bow. Oh, goddamn, that's impressive. Who are you playing as? I know your anti-heal character is usually Sombra. Yeah, I like the bow. I should have read what that scroll did before I picked it up. Okay, so that's why your crit's so high, okay. There's a uh, upgrade station right there. That bow saved my ass. In a couple. I don't know how I'm still alive. And I'm back to full health, so even better. Oh, nice. I am going to try to get back into Overwatch. Um, I can't promise it, but I will try. Um, because... Um... I'm just having trouble playing it because just my motivation to play it has been very low. And also them um, partnering up with Saudi Arabia for their competitive league really just kills me.
I don't have enough for anything. merchant for me to buy shit. I don't know if there's anything I'm going to want to buy because each one has a purpose. You get something for free though. Yeah, it's pretty much just a magazine increase size. Yeah, there's no reason for me to get that. Uh, let me do the refresh though. Yeah, I don't see anything. I'll give it a try. Um, plus, I usually try to at least get all the um, the season pass done. So if nothing else, I'll probably at least do that. Hey, Trickster. Welcome back. Oh, no, I didn't see that. That's awesome, though. Might get lucky and actually finish this round. Or finish this area. Hey, the fact that the game felt to queue you up with them says something. Which you got first before I do any fighting. A jet octopus is actually really good. Do some upgrading. I should really have upgraded the uh, bow. Right, I have no idea what to do. This is the first time I've made it this far. Am I about to fight a ghost ship? Yeah, kind of. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh, it's invincible right now. Cool. It insta-killed me. Yeah, I can't do anything, so yeah. At least I got there. I got to the boss. That's all I could ask for. Well, I could ask for a lot more, but I don't want to. Alright, for the first time me playing through is this guy. It's actually pretty good.
There's a lot of times you play as Ashley. I hate to say say that to you. There. Uh, so yeah, the Wukong character is pretty good. I like him. I like him. Got a lot done in that run, actually. All right. Uh, I'm gonna be winding this down. I'm gonna figure out. I want to figure out who I'm gonna ascension. Oh, okay, I know what that is. I'm gonna have to figure out who I'm gonna play as next. Um, next time I play, which will probably be off stream or um, it'll be on Twitch. I can be the doggo. I gotta get to level 40 before I can play him, and then what's his specialty? He does all this lightning shit. And then I went out of my way to unlock her, and now I gotta unlock him using the soul stuff, but I'm gonna wait on that. This is the one I've had a lot of fun with, but I'm trying to figure out who I'll play as next. Um. Oh, that's a tank character. Oh, no, no, Iron Wing, so it's a robot thing. Cool. Fire's a miss. Okay, that's Mad Techie's character, clearly. I might try her next, just because I like the idea of, like, using a shit ton of fire stuff. So, I'll burn that bridge in a bit, um, later. Had a fun conversation. We talked about AI in video games, and if there is a proper use in, like, their creation. Um. We did talk a little bit about politics, but I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, this is Gunfire Reborn. It is a good game. Like, I think the base game, no DLCs, is like 20 bucks. And it's a good game. Oh yeah, nothing can go wrong with it. I would love to see a remake, a, a true remake of Resident Evil 1. I know there's that remaster they did, like, early 2000s or something like that. I've got it. It's not bad. But I would love to see them do a straight-up remake like they did RE2 on RE3. Uh, don't think they will. Um, there is rumors that they might do it, but there's more rumors that they're doing an RE5 remake. We'll see how that goes. I'll play if it does come out there. I never actually played Resident Evil 5. Um, I was actually too pissed off with, like, certain details about it. Before too long, they'll have a Resident Evil 7 remake! Yeah, don't do that. That game's perfect. Don't touch it. Just do a remaster. If at all. 